Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 8 of Let's Play Hungry Hungry the Tangry. Hungry Tangry Hungry. So, where we left off last, I just to took basically the entire Byzantine Empire except for a couple chunks. And uh, I did do a lot of the, the mundane stuff off camera. I created new vassals in every single county. I gave away every single county to a single person. But one thing I have not done yet is... Uh, oh, we have an independence faction, that's nice. Um, is that I need to create all of these duchies. So I'm going to do that here. We're going to create all of them right now. If it says the word duchy, I'm going to create it. We're out of money. Okay. So now we're going to go here we're going to start giving them away. I'm going to have a single duke down here. So let's give... Let's find that duck that she... Did I not create a duchy here? Didn't, 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 nope, didn't create it. Okay. That's fine. Next duchy is that one. Let's just have a single... Eh, I guess we'll just do individual dukes. That's fine. Here, you get to be that duke. Apparently I didn't create that duchy. I don't even really care who gets them. Doesn't even matter. They're all Hungarian. They'll all serve me well. Okay, now we need money. And uh, we do have this independence faction thing. We'll see if that's actually real or not. I'm not sure. We should definitely hire some more. Now that the realm is huge, I need to spend some time getting more skirmish retinues. So we'll do that. We'll get these men up here. Let's see if this actually stays around. Stop joining the faction. I really beat my army up, didn't I? Oh, shoot. There it is. Okay. Well, they've uh, decided to act on it with just these troop, these guys, so I will not be blackmailed. And we'll slow the game down a little bit to see who we actually end up at war with. Okay, I have a new regent. That's right. Fine, that's fine. Who is the leader of all this? It is... This guy, the stupid guy of pest, that's why, because he's Avar. Okay, uh, we need to get these men over. We don't have any way of getting them across without just walking them, so we'll just send them to there. Uh, I guess I'll just do that. If they had waited till they had more support, I think they'd actually pose a threat. But as it is, we'll, we should be okay. I'll be okay. It's just this, plus that guy, plus that guy, and that guy. It's the year 897. So we've been playing for 30 years, and we've taken over all of Hungary and all of, almost all of the Byzantines. All because of the silly event spawn troop mechanics.
I do not want your titles. Wow, I do like him though. What an excellent character. You should be my heir. You're my uh, my guardian. Look at that. That guy is good. Teach me the ways. I'm glad you will gladly accept. That's that's good to hear. We'll just attack the army of pest and beat him up a bit. Some penalties here, but I don't think it's going to matter. Especially because we have this army here as well. So this this video is probably going to be about uh, oh a new regent. Probably just going to be about getting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did my spy master just get uh, killed by my own land? Because I had him there. That's funny. Let's study technology over here then. Not gonna marry you, ever. It's not gonna happen, woman. Major river crossing. Not scared. Why can I imprison you? The drew of a plot. We will put this silly thing down. I probably have a tremendous number of prisoners again, don't I? Get some money from our prisoners then. And once we put this independence war down, we'll have excellent vassal opinion with almost everybody. So we'll probably only have to do this once per succession. Because we'll get the thwarted a major rebellion. Our enemy has died, the war has ended. Interesting. Does that mean that we get the... We don't. Damn it, now we have to do it all over again. Stupid Avar. They were not supposed to be the wrong culture. Let's just disband that. We now have 33,000 men. Good lord. Okay, fine. Let's uh, summon. Let's summon. Why do I keep saying summon? You know what we need to do is a good old fashioned invasion. <laughs> we'll do that one. And we'll do that one. And we'll do that one. Take all that land for right now. Let's focus on that. We need money. And I'm gonna be kind of kind of messy because I don't I just don't care. It's like I might get cut off in a couple spots and lose some armies, but it doesn't really matter. Are we suffering attrition? We are. Okay. So we got twenty thousand men. Let's take this and we'll go with stacks of say six. Six to seven. And since this is the meeting point, I'm just going to take these guys and say there, there, and there. And we'll just send those 9,000 up there. Capture the Duke. I don't want to offer him peace because then we won't get his land. So instead I'll ransom him. That way I get his money and his land. Easy, easy, easy. Simple, simple. Speed five.
I'm charitable. That's nice. Please tell me I'm in control of that. Good. Somebody else is attacking him, apparently. We shall expand! Damn it, I've inherited something. I hate it when that happens. It's annoying. Don't you agree? Also, the surprise duke. God damn it. Seriously? Who was that? This guy keeps dying. Like, it's like there's something wrong with this county. Everybody that gets it ends up dying. I've done this like three times now. County of Berland. Transfer Vassal Berland. There we go. Okay, a couple more holdings and then we've got all these wars won. Really care about diseases. Okay, that'll do it. We got all of them, uh, all the top level holdings. So we'll end this one. We'll end this one. And this one, he hasn't surrendered yet, so I've actually got to apparently go fight him. I can't leave it on this for long because I've, I've got way too many holdings, so actually let's take care of that real quick. And we're just barely over the domain limit, but I should probably take care of these as well. It's easy to take care of in small doses. It's when you take over a huge thing like the Byzantine Empire. But you just have to spend like five to ten minutes on it. If you want to really like process the realm well. You know, same culture, same everything. And uh whoa. Suffering lots of attrition right now. There we go. Why do we have a Catholic here? It's strange. Didn't really do it w the way that it normally does. It'll get sorted out eventually, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now rather than create the duchies, which I'd really like to do, instead I'm gonna disband our troops now we have 46,000 men, and I'm actually going to get tons of retinue, because the retinue cap has been increasing a ton, and I want to make sure that we have a good standing army to help alleviate or kind of avoid that huge independence thing that could happen again, actually. And we should probably get some noble customs, we should probably get improved keeps, and uh, military organization, even more retinue is nice. Okay, and uh, now who? Now what? I think it's still wise to take small people first, because they're easier. So... Poland? Yeah, kind of a concise thing. Italy's pretty large. And spread out, and they've got land. Lothringia's really big and messy. I think it's going to be Bohemia? Oh, they're a pagan. Okay, fine. How about Poland? Slavic. Damn. Can't use my my sexy invasion CB on them. Fine. <laughs> we'll just attack someone else. Can I use it on this guy? Invasion. Yes. 
Okay, so we'll look to the east and south on the next video. I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.